Elaine. So Hi. where are you coming from today? I am coming from the Dalles, Oregon. Aha, you're on the other coast. I am on the left coast. <laughs> <laughs> if you're looking at it that way, it would be stage left. Yeah. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so tell me about your voice and what you want to work on today. Well, um, I've been singing a long time, and I've, I did some studying way back, probably 20, gosh, I was thinking the other day, like 20 years ago, uh -huh. and uh, have never really gotten the knack of breathing. Gotcha. You know, yeah. It's a, it's a well, a well studied and very misunderstood concept. <laughs> when people focus too much on breath, they sabotage it. So let me, before we get into it, let me see the issue. Let me see you sing uh, and see if we can make a difference in a very practical way. Okay. This is a good example because Part of the reason that I think I struggle with breathing is that my I had a vo vocal injury as well, and it the middle part never came back. Gotcha. And I feel like I. Okay. Yeah. How did so you, that, How did your voice? Uh, what What injury is it? Well, I worked in a very busy restaurant, and I had laryngitis. And I, of course, you don't not go to work unless you can't leave the bathroom. So I went to work, and I just lost my voice i mean i it for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks for actually it lasted about a year and a half and it never that my lower voice started to come back my high voice came back and my middle voice never did and it just feels like it has something to do with the way i'm expelling the breath or maybe there's it's not in i've been to the uh ent had it looked at everything is perfect so, the so EMT gave you a clean bill of health okay, uh -huh. now i'm really curious okay Okay. okay, show so, me what's going on. Okay. <clears throat> when he came, he, he spent his first night on a bed of hay. When he came, he drank freely from life's bitter cup. Betrayed and broken. Jesus hung in agony. The truth of who he really was, the world could not see. But when he comes again on a cloud of majesty, every eye on earth shall see he is the great I am. When he comes again, the hosts of heaven with him, he'll bring to earth a kingdom without end. Okay, okay. When he comes again. All right. Where, uh, it, was it the beginning that you were trying to be in a lower voice, right? That was kind of yeah. a little bit? Okay. Um, I want to do something that's going to be not quite too comfortable for you, but it's going to help us make a difference and feel the difference. I want you to go lower. I want you to go, uh, I want to start on uh, C. Okay. When, or okay. do it in, uh, starting with the C instead of a D. Ba. When he came, he spent his first night. Okay, and stop. That's okay. all I want, I want to work on, right there. Okay. I want you to, you're sort of, the, the webcam is down, and you're yeah. looking down. I want you to move your head from this position mm -hmm. to this position. Got it. In fact, what I want you to do is go, you can even go to that door behind you, and mm -hmm. I want you to stand with your head against the wall and your heel against the wall. Okay. Right. Right. Yep. Play that C again. Okay. Now, just sing, just sing again. 
When he came, he spent his first night on a bed of hay. When he came. Okay, did you notice the difference in your throat? Yes. And your ability to sing those notes? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Now let's add some things, okay? Okay. That's taking care of your breath. The truth about lower notes is you get lower notes the same way you get high notes, by pulling them, pulling them open, instead of, ah, uh, by going, ah, uh, okay? okay? And uh, what I want you to do now is I want you to use your hands in such a way that your elbows are behind you. So walk in front, a little, walk forward a little bit, more towards the webcam. Okay, now, when you sing, I don't want you to look down at the webcam. I want you to look directly right in front of you at something, okay. and that's the heart you're talking to. And I want, watch, I want you to use your hands a little bit so that your elbows are behind you. You're talking with your elbows Behind you, and I want you to notice that that opens your rib cage up. You see that? Mm -hmm. And if you move your head over your heel, your, okay. rib, your rib cage is nice and open, aren't you? Your heart, your necklace there, your beautiful necklace is first. All right. Now, in a conversational way, simply use your hands a little bit. And you're going to notice that you're using your hands to help you get taller. Oh, okay. You don't have to overdo it. You don't have to overdo it. Just mm -hmm. uh, when he came. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, I get what you You can even do this. When okay. he came. And you'll notice that opens your rib cage. Try it. When he came, he was rejected by the ones he loved. Yeah. You feel that? Yes, I do. I definitely do. It's there, isn't it? It's still there. What mm -hmm. you learned to do when you hurt your voice, though, was to unmix. You brought mm -hmm. your, your bring, and, and this is an issue with some people that are trained more formally, uh, trying to get into the lower, the lower voice, uh, is that you bring your head voice down too far. Instead oh. of allowing a mixed uh, mm -hmm. voice. Uh, and uh, so the, the truth is, the, it, so by the time you go down to chest voice, it's totally just ah chest voice and not mixed voice. Mm -hmm. So you're going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> like that. Yeah. Or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know, that doesn't work. But if you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, you never even heard where I broke where I changed. Uh, mm -hmm. where I went through my passaggio. Right. Your registers join out the back top of your head, not the top. Mm -hmm. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You know, if you go straight up, you're not mm -hmm. going to mix. Yeah. So here's an exercise you can try. Go. Can, can, did you ever do the, the bubble or the tongue trill? Show me the bubble. <laughs> Yeah. You pushed it. I'm going to teach you to pull it, and you'll be <laughs> more like the magnet. Watch. I'm going to push it first. Okay. okay. Now watch me pull it. Try that. Okay. Good. Now, the last thing I want you to do is get softer, not breathy, but lighter volume on the top. More volume on the bottom, lighter volume on the top. And you're going to really, uh, really, if you can, pull three times instead of just two, just once. Like you've got a 45 degree little stretchy rope here. And you're, you're, you're pulling in a tug of war three times. Hmm. Initiate tone with a pull. Go up to the high note with a pull. And then 
follow through the end with another pull. Try it. Okay, that's okay. good. That's yeah. good. Now come back and you're going to either sing with a mic, if you use a mic, if you mm -hmm. don't use a mic. Do you usually use a mic? Uh -huh. You do? Grab yeah. something that represents a mic or a mic itself. And we're going to make this work. In a <laughs> this is my office, not any place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so fine. My staple that's, mic. that's absolutely fine. That's a good shape uh, mm -hmm. of a mic. You can even use a pencil. Okay. Now, I want you to sing again. And this, if you squeeze the mic, your mic, mm -hmm. you'll notice you can keep your lips right close to it. But it mm -hmm. feels like when your hands did that. You can widen your rib cage by kind of squeezing the mic. You don't keep it squeezed, but mm -hmm. just squeeze the mic and use your pelvic floor for power. So uh, let, let me hit that uh, C note again. Okay. And I want you to sing the same thing you were doing again. When he came, he was rejected by the ones he loved. Okay, now you're a little bit stiff. I want you to pull yourself open so your upper back stretches out like that when you pull. When he came. Like that. Okay. All right. When he came, yeah. he was rejected. By the ones he loved. Yes. How did that feel? That felt much better. Good. All right. Yeah. All right. It's this pulling thing that works, and uh, it joins your, your chest register and your head register and helps you gradually mix out rather than all of a sudden and gradually mm -hmm. mix back, you know, when you're in head voice coming back down. Um, so, uh, you know, when you're up there, you also come back that way, not mm -hmm. that way. Yeah, it's harder coming back down to mix, I yeah. found. Is it is. Going up. It is. Yeah. So, ooh, ooh, or, ooh, try that. Ooh. Uh huh. So, you're going to pull yourself. This way, when you're going, okay, it, yeah, sometimes I have a disconnect between the brain and the body, so I'm trying to get that. Absolutely, you do. Absolutely, you do because it's yeah. counterintuitive to pull up when you're going down. You you uh -huh. hit the nail on the head. Yeah, <laughs> you make yourself practice it. All right, okay. sing one more time before we leave. Okay. <laughs> when he came. All right, now write that first when. Mm -hmm. I want you to say, ah, ah, like really bratty. Ah, now, ah. Pull, make, make sure you pull that. Don't push it. Ah, instead. Ah, ah. Good. Ah, Turn that into when. When he came. There's your middle voice. was rejected. By the ones he loved. Good. And I don't think you need to go up into your head voice on ejected. Oh. He was rejected. Still stay in speaking voice. Okay. One more time. When? When he came, he was rejected. See, I want to do that. Okay. He was rejected. By the ones you yeah, loved. Okay. And the reason you you wanted to go over is because you didn't you didn't know how to create that note in your mixed voice. Mm -hmm. right? So which because if I do it in the chest, then it's strained. Right. It's and if you do strained. it in the voice, it's weak. Yeah. So what you're doing is you're doing it in chest voice, but you're doing it in mixed chest voice, where the head voice is helping. The head voice register, the head voice mechanism is helping. So, okay. so it lightens the chest voice up and mixes it. That's why we call it mixed. Okay. And okay. so the top of your uh, bottom, your top of your uh, chest voice 
start sounding a lot like the bottom of your head voice. That's okay. when you're rocking. So I think though, with you, with you just doing the, the little things that we did today and just experimenting with them, you don't have to be perfect with it, but it's going to make a big difference. I think in your voice, try singing at the wall to remind yourself, you know, to stay open and don't get stiff, but keep your head at the wall. Okay. 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 Very right. good. Awesome. Well, great to work with you and uh, please let me know how you're doing. You keep in touch. Okay. I will. Thank you.